anyways, I think it looks good. It looks, I think it looks good. You did a good job today with Facebook. You did a great job with that. Um, and Baba looks good. What else do you have on? No, that's it. I am, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm in the dog. I've put myself, uh, well, partially in the dog box. Why? I'm just listening to your trades, that's all. Okay, well, well, you do, you did that other little one, which you said is just a fun one, which is fine. But, um, but like if you could do, you know, every trade like that Facebook, whether it's the day of or the next day or something, you know, that's, you know, that would be great. You know, like I said, you can combine it with the day trading, but, um, I think there's nothing wrong with being careful. There's nothing wrong with being careful at all. Like this, you were watching, you were, you were going to kill it. But then you didn't kill it, and now it's positive. Yeah, no, we. we um, I think uh, one must uh, just concentrate on what you are doing on uh, at at the time, and uh, focus on the price action itself. Right. And like we said last time, is uh, focus on, on on the daily charts, and uh, from there, uh, the 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 and, and forget about any other because everybody might think now most probably oh the market's gonna tank or whatever I don't know what they will think or I don't think so. Uh, you get it is not easy who are we to uh, we don't get to we must just follow the market that's all you gotta follow the gap that's what you're following you know you're following the gap and you're but you're really reading the price action and the gap to tell you whether you know it's a long or a short and you do have to read it and actually this this is a great example here today look what happened the stock gapped up this morning, and it wasn't a big gap up, but look at the move that this stock had today when the market was really not doing anything like this at all. So, I mean, even here in the first bar in the 15-minute chart, do you see the volume, see the V down the third column? In the first 15 minutes of the day, this, this moved actually had most of the move in the first 15 minutes of the day. High was 197.68. That's only a dollar shy of where we are right now after trading all day. So it had a $3 move into the open in the first 15 minutes. And if you played this long, which we did not do, but if you had, you, you could have made good money. And also it held, it held the gap up and look at the volume that came in. Boom, look at that volume. Look at this, this is gonna, what are you up right now? Yeah. This will start yeah. to move. This option chain is going to start to move more and more and more, um, you know, as this gets going. What are you up right now in this? There, it just got over 199. Are you up in this now? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead. Another thing I wanted to ask you, which has got nothing to do with gaps, is <laughs> okay. that... Is that uh, 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 you also got another course that you are doing about? Uh, Look at this go. This is going to rally into four o'clock. Man, this could close today at 200. What a recovery. Anyways, go ahead. Hallelujah, sister. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh, I'm nearly out of the drag. You're what? <laughs> I'm glad uh, you didn't kill just, this. I'm glad you didn't kill it. I say I'm nearly out of the drag. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> with, 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 with Baba. <laughs> sure. You're funny. Okay, what were you asking me? Another class or what? You did the gap class. You got to get the charts figured out. Uh, no, your, your, uh, 
What do you call it, your... I have no idea. What yes. <laughs> Is it name? Help me. Uh, 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 the it's trends class? The trends? The trends class? It's just... It's just it's not a psych psychology class, it's a... The trends, the entries, the wealth class? Uh, the, the well what? The wealth class, the trends class, the entries class, that's it. No, the wealth, the wealth, what? The wealth manifestation course. Is that the question you have? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't, just repeat that, the wealth? The wealth manifestation course, is that the one yes, you're asking yeah, about? Yeah, the wealth manifestation course. Yes, you can do that for free because you're signed up for the room for the year. Now you're telling. Well, well, I, I, I have the date scheduled. I'll email you. You didn't miss it. <laughs> you must please, if you have one again, I don't know how you're going to, if you can jot it down somewhere, invite me, please. Yeah, just email me and I'll and I'll email you. I, 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 just email me a reminder. But you get that uh, for okay. free because you paid for the room for the year. Uh, all right, all right. But what are why are you saying you think you need that or what's going on in your head? Oh, it will just be interesting to see what it's all about. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, or is it boring? <laughs> Do you think it would be boring if I taught it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry for me, blood. That's okay. I don't think that anything that I do is boring, but anyways, I want you to answer a question here for the Baba. Say mark it does rally tomorrow in the minutes, which I don't know if it does, but let's just throw it out there if it does. If this it does and it rallies and it rallies and this goes and it goes all the way up to two oh six, running, 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 are you gonna get out or not? I'll take five contracts off. Okay. I think that's a good plan. Because remember, you're going into the holiday week. Market's closed for Good Friday next week. What is What holiday is next Friday? Easter. Easter. It's Easter. Oh. So market's closed for Good Friday. Easter holiday. So if you get a nice big push or flush this week... Yes, I would get out of some. Or maybe oh, okay, they don't, no, they don't get out totally. Well, because I mean, I'm not, long, yeah. Because of the long weekend, I'll just get out totally. Well, I mean, it could rally in the next week. I don't know if we rally in the minutes. I'm just saying if we would get, if this would have a 6 7 $8 move, you know, in the next couple of days, because it looks great. You know, yeah, it looks no, great. Then, then it's just worth it. Take the chips off the table and say thank you. Yeah. And you got out at, of Facebook. At, that was good. Be thankful. Yeah. Be thankful. Exactly. All right. Is there anything else you think you want to go over with me here today? Any Anything else? Anything you want to go over? Anything you want to talk about? I'm going to refer you to the charts because I think you need to get you need to get the charts before second quarter. I think you need to come in the room in the morning to see if I'm looking at something that you want to day trade and hear my market analysis. Um, but ask me anything else here. We have we still have time here today. Look at this. Look how nice this is. It's really running up now. Yeah. Uh, I think you're I, wish, I think you're doing good. I, I think you're slowing down and you're doing good. The last time I looked at your thing, you had way too much on. Way too much at once on to manage. Yeah, no, I was shooting like it is. No. Yeah. Uh, and it's and it's a lot of stress because then you've got a lot of money on in the market and when that uh, pullback happened, mm hey, -hmm. I, I stressed. I stressed heavy. Yep. That's why it's perfectly fine for you to take a quick profit like you did today in Facebook. Boom, four grand. Do do out. Even yeah, yeah. And yeah. It felt good and I was happy and I'm. So, uh, look what Facebook is doing. Yeah, they're not going to go down to tomorrow. I, I think this is just, I think that this it could do anything at once. I don't, I think this is a separate, completely alone. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the market right now because what's happening with it. This is a separate specialty item here. And that is the way I looked at it today. And the market really could have fallen today. It didn't. I don't know what we do tomorrow, but again, 
you know, there's there's nothing on right now with the market as far as trades, but this is like its own thing. And who knows, I could call another trade in it this week. This is completely separate from the market, this Facebook. The fact that it rallied the day into the close doesn't doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it's gonna turn around, doesn't mean you should buy it, doesn't mean anything at all. I wouldn't be surprised if it gapped down tomorrow again. So I would just leave it. You did the right thing getting out. But I'm just saying, I think being careful is good, at least till earnings season with, with this stuff. And, um, but anyways, what else did, is there anything else you want to ask me? Yo, I, I, I don't want to waste your valuable time any further. Next time I'll be much more prepared with some que other questions or something. No, I mean, I, I wanted to help you today because I thought you were managing some trains, which, Baba, you are in, and it looks good. But your thought process... Oh, sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. I appreciate that because, uh, I, well, I've managed to show you composure to the hour well, I've hold my order, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's also it's also nice to. I mean, your yeah, your time is valuable and fair enough. But to have a, a, a chat around just what you've done, and mm -hmm. or like you now also spontaneously contacted, that's cool. Uh, I I I love it. Uh, I haven't got a problem <laughs> with that. Well, now if this gaps up tomorrow, it's going to look even better. Now, I don't know if it does, but I'm just saying, if this gaps up tomorrow, you know, 200 or, or around that area, this this could really fly tomorrow. I will, I will tell you, I will, I'm going to, I'm going to email you when it reaches my target. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I don't have a problem if you want to hold it to there, but you do have to be aware of the Easter holiday and the days the markets close oh, and no, stuff like that. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. For, no, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, are you going away for Easter weekend? Uh, it's up in the air. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I, I definitely don't think it's a good idea to trade around the holiday time. So I haven't figured out my schedule. I got the class this weekend. So I'll have to look at that, and then I might be on TV, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll sit down and figure it out maybe Friday or Saturday what I'm doing. But I know that around the holiday, you have to watch, um, you know, you have to watch specifically in your trades to hold something into a long weekend, like you said, even though this looks yeah, great. Yeah. Now let's quick, let's quick take a look here at Amazon and the other stuff in the sector. Now this had a big rally today. Amazon had a big rally today. Apple did not. Uh, what else? Let's look at Google. So have so your risk is pretty much three four grand a trade now. Is that really what you're doing? Sorry. Your risk pretty much is like three four grand a trade. Is that pretty much what you're doing? Yeah 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 yeah. Yes, I uh, no no no. Uh, no more. 70 and 80 grand. Well, I, 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 unless, unless uh, we, we, the market is pumping again. <laughs> well, that's not yet. That's not right. Yeah, that's uh, not yeah. yet. What did you risk 70, 80 grand in, though? You, you, uh, was there one position you had that in? Because like, you didn't tell me that. I know you had that big Amazon one that No, worked. that oh. was with. Uh, what was that trade that you found me that you. That was Amazon, you risked like 50 Apple, or That was with Amazon. Yeah. yeah. But then that was a good one. Yes, that yeah. was the last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but do you see the difference? Like if you had, if you, if you have a train, see this is where, and I'm not saying, you know, you're at this point yet, but I'm saying once you get better at this, since you're willing to take the risk, you, you know, it would be better to put money like that in something where you really can sink your teeth into it. Because then Amazon worked, but it only had a short move. Like, do you see the difference between, like, actually Netflix is probably a better example of this because of the one that went a couple weeks ago. Do you see the difference if you would risk a certain amount and you really would sink your teeth into it? Like how a $50,000 risk could be 200 grand in profit. You know what I'm saying? It's like the difference between oh. ones that you really can sink your teeth into. 
Let me, let me I, I hear you, yes. But I think you got to get better at reading charts before you get, get to that point. Um, I don't, yeah, the one I called way back here. This is a good example. The one I called, which you did. You did, you did. You had a, I called a couple then. You had a nice day that day. I remember that was back in January. So, it, like, if you had risked that amount in something like this, do you see? I mean, you, this is something you really can sink your teeth into. Ooh. You know? So, you're going to get there. You're going to get there. Are they, call, yeah. are they calling that runaway gaps? I, I don't call it that, but, you know, I don't know what uh, other the, people call it. Uh, the, the retail traders. Like us. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just see the quality of the gap, and I knew that it really was going to get bought. And then even though I called the trade, even though in a day it was weak, I really felt that it was going to get bought and follow through. And that is what happened. I mean, really, look at how much this has followed through. Did you do this one here or not? The quick oh, one here. Oh, oh. Oh. Why oh, didn't you do that was one? I? Now, that is now interesting what you are saying. Although the gap there closed on its low, yeah, and not positive. What 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 made you decide to think that is going to follow through? Because I rated it. I rated it. I mean, you go back here, get rid of all this crap that happened. It's easy to see now, but I rated the gap. I rated the gap, and it rated more than twenty points as a bullish gap. I forget if you've taken the bullish gap class, but I rated it, and it rated good. It rated, it rated as a long. Now, well, the fact that it didn't set up that day to go long on that day as a day trade doesn't mean it's still not going to move higher. Some of these ones do not work as day trades, and then they move as swing trades or options trades, even if we don't do them as a day trade, or even if we take a stop as a day trade, even short or long, some they still rate good. You can't ignore the fact that the rating, if the rating tells you this is strong or this is weak, whether it's a down gap or a bullish gap or whatever, then you okay. can't ignore that. So the rating was good in this, and then that told me that this was going to go. And so it was very aggressive to call it, but what a trade. Boom, you know? Yeah, yeah. But those kinds of things is exactly, you know, that sucks people in. And again, every gap is different, but I'm just telling you that there, there was a lot of people that were short that stock at that point. Shorted overnight, shorted thinking it was going to fall, fall the next day, collapse, fall into the space down from 250 to 230, fill the gap, but it did not. And that was the wrong thing to do. And I'm not saying that's why this went. This got bought. It got bought by institutional money. But when people have to cover and they scramble to cover that are short something that's still getting bought, that does help push the stock up. But that's not really what happened. It really got bought. It got bought. It got bought by institutional money. And there were also traders that were shorted, thinking it was going to come in and fill the gap, which isn't what we do. And so they covered, plus the stock got bought. And you had this, you know, five-day move up, four-day move up. So, yeah. you know, that's that's why you really got to, you've got to do the rating. And if you, if you, if you see the rating is good, even if it doesn't, uh, work on the day the way that you want, you still should be watching it. You still can watch it, whether you take it that day or the next day. But I did call it that day. Um, and, you know, because I'm telling you, there's a lot in that rating. Did you do the bullish gap class? I forget. I forget if you did or not. I don't, I don't do it that often. Did I do what? Did you do the bullish gap class or not? I forget. Forget it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. okay. I no, the bullish gap. No, 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 no. I haven't done it in a long time. I don't do that class. No, that often. no, I no, I haven't done the bullish gap class. Sorry, yeah. I just do the, the normal gap class. That's okay. Well, next time I do that, I have no idea when. If I do one this year, I'll tell you about it. But that since I have been calling a lot of bullish options calls, that probably I is would, something I, that you should I, do. I, I, would, I would like to do that with you. Please do one in the year. Yeah. But I don't know if the people will be not everybody is interested in it. Maybe enough students, I don't know, will yeah. make it worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, not everybody is interested because we don't go along that often. I'm trying to think, what was the other one? What was the last, what's the other, what's the last long that we did? That we did that was, 
a day trade. I know you're not there every day. Shoot, what was the last thing we went long? I don't even remember now. What was the last thing we went long? Hey. As a day trade. I can't even think. I mean, they're just so rare. But when they when they set up, you know, when they set up, they're just as powerful. It's just that we don't we don't do them all the time. But a lot of these options trades have been bullish gaps, and earning season starts in a couple of weeks, so there's going to be a lot. So I think this is great practice. You're also taking it easy at a time when you should be taking it easy because it's not earning season. So, you know, if you got out of every trade quick with a fast profit like facebook or like the um like the baba if you got every got out of every trade with a quick profit between now and earnings season there'd be nothing wrong with that because it's not earnings season yet even the options you know yes, yes because the time to hold them is when there's more going on and the market is choppy the market is definitely 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 choppy yeah, that is also what, but the, yes, uh, I am just relaxing at the moment and enjoy the ride and uh, <laughs> I'm composing myself and getting my head straight and clean and so that. I think that, I must go ahead, what were we going to say? That's cool. I, I was going to say that I think it's great that you are focusing and you're taking the profits out. You've got to get the pre-market chart set up and I'll send you a referral for that. I would wait to be more heavy handed until earnings season starts. I try to come in in the morning, even if you don't want to actively trade every day, try to come in, see what I'm saying about the market, see what I'm saying about yes, the gaps. Yes. But, you know, because there, there's going to be one like Facebook where then you're going to get something extra tidbit of information that will help you. And also you could have you could have done that as a day trade. You could have shorted that as a day trade plus the option, too. So there will be those ones that you want to do um, for that. And then uh, I mean, I think, you know, I think you got to get the pre-market stuff set up so you can see the gaps, because if you do want a day trade next earning season, you have to have that. Oh, yes. No, that, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I will, I will get that right. Yeah. And then this other stuff that you're doing for the targets, I don't think it's it hurts. That's fine. Um, just be aware of the calendar as far as the holidays and things like that. I mean, I'd love to see Baba go to 220, but, you know. I mean, it has time, sure, but sure. you just you just never know. Ah, uh, Melissa, I'm, uh, I'm also enjoying myself, can I put it that way? And I, I, I haven't got, I haven't found myself yet how I want to actually, you know, re not only read the market, i I'm, I'm still, still got a lot to learn how to read the market. Mm -hmm. But to, as I've told you in the past, I haven't been trading for so long, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, but I will definitely get there and that will, that is why one must, uh, when I've got, do have the time, I do put in the screen time and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, and I, I actually don't use indicators as such. Okay. Good. I only use, I only use the pitchfork. Okay. Okay. That's all I use. Okay. And, uh, I start using moving averages when, 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 uh, I got involved with you. I never use moving averages. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I think some of those things are fine. I'm just saying when I saw all those lines on your chart, I was like, woo, you know, Cause it's a it's a it's a lot to see through the to even find the candlestick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear what you say there. You know, but that's but, okay. I mean, go ahead. It is. It's all geometry. That's what it is. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's lines a computer makes on it, basically. Now, you were saying you're enjoying yourself. What are you enjoying about this whole thing? Like this straight this morning, I, I draw my geometry line, and I said, that is where the energy of this must do something. <laughs> and, lo and, be, lo and behold, it did. <laughs> then, then that gives me joy to say, okay, I've projected this before it even got there. That's right. That's absolutely right. It's like magic. So, and, and, and that gives me, that builds me more confidence. Mm -hmm. But I must now be aware, like longer term trades, um, of the time decay. Uh, yeah, that is. Well, for the options, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah. Just because I call something but, out for two, three weeks, it doesn't mean you have to hold it. This was a good example of today. Yes, 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 yes. Now, what are we going to no, say? No, one mustn't be. One must one must use your common sense and, and, and common sense. Common sense rules the day, especially with money and not only that. If you're up a hundred percent, that's real profit. Four thousand dollars is four thousand dollars. And I mean, I uh, as much as I want to uh, improve myself, uh, as much I also want to show my mentor, but. Shit, man, I can do it. <laughs> but, but, I know but, but you can do it. You can, only, huh? you can only show your mentor after a thousand trades. So, okay, <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't know where you heard that. I, I'm glad. Just That's why I said to you, do you see it? Do you see it? I mean, it's. I want you to take the calls, but I'm just saying it's, you know, if the more that you do it, like you, like you drew those lines, so then you saw the targets. So, you know, the more you see it yourself, I call it, you see it yourself too. That's what, that's, that's what helps. That's what you need to do. Because then, because in the, because, because if some, if a trade doesn't work, which some trades don't work, okay, then you won't oh, well. second guess everything. It'll say, oh, well, this just, this one didn't work. And here's why. And sometimes there's a reason, sometimes there isn't. In the case of Baba, this is working. But if it hadn't worked, the reason would have been the market. It made it drop yesterday. You stayed with the trade. That was a good decision. But I'm just saying, though, that when it's when things work out, it's great, and you make money, and that's true. But every once in a while, if I call something that doesn't work, this is working. But if it hadn't, it, if you look at it and you see it and you understand what happened, then you won't get all crazy and upset, or you won't hang on to it too long because – you, know, you won't hang on to it like if it had fallen today. Like you said, you were going to kill it. And that would have been the right thing to do. Yeah, that is what life is never boring. Uh, a trader's life is never boring. No, you got you to gotta watch uh, your trades. You definitely have to watch what's going on. You got to watch your trades. You got to watch the market. You have to watch the stuff. The, the day trades are easy because they're quick and you're out. But if you're doing these options and with the volatility we've had lately, like look at this today. If you had walked away and taken the trade, look. You have to watch it. Ugh. So I think you're doing good. Try to come in in the room tomorrow if you can just to see what the market's doing and then to see what Baba's doing and then um, – Take it easy like you're going to do until the holiday. Well, what time is the Fed announcement? Two o'clock. I'm still... Two o'clock. Uh, two o'clock Eastern, so I don't know what that is for you. Oh, uh, two o'clock two Eastern. Two o'clock Eastern time, and then I'm also going to send you the information about the charting place because maybe you just want to get another charting thing Um and you could still have the ones you have, but on top of that, um, and then you could play around with that, you know, play around with it. Maybe they'll give you a trial. Maybe you get a trial for free or something. You can play around with it for a couple of days. Yeah, I'll, I'll see how I'm working out. Yeah. But thank you. I know you, you, uh, it is now, what, half past three in the afternoon? Yeah, I have some things to do, but I wanted to talk to you today because you had a good day. 
and you did good and you did great. I mean, you held the Baba, you exited Facebook, you made four grand, you're up at the Baba, it looks great, you've got the targets, you know where you're getting out. Don't be a pig about it though because of the holiday. Um, I don't yes, know what yes, else is, yes. I'm gonna call this week, but you're, you're on a roll here. You're definitely more controlled. We'll talk more the next time that I call something that has uh, more potential. But I think going back to your risk parameters as far as what you're risking, because you did put on that big trade a couple months ago, you, it's, it's, if, when you find something you can sink your teeth into, those are going to be the best ones ever that you can sink your teeth into it because not every gap is created equal. Some gaps are better than other gaps. Facebook was a good gap today. We rated it, we did it, it was fine. But some gaps are better than others. And when you find one, you can really sink your teeth into. And Baba, Baba is not that either. This is fine, it's working, it's good. But when you find something you can really sink your teeth into, and that's when you can step up your risk and then you're really gonna see. And you can risk 20 grand and make 60 instead of risking 50 and making 60. Do you see? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. All right, you're doing good. Uh, I will email you or you email me. Cool. Okay, have a good uh, day. Thank you very much and have a super week. Okay, talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Okay,